So we've got through 22 metres of jungle fabric that we found on a website that's come from Germany because there was nothing in the UK that <laughs> met the designer's specification. Um, what actually happened was he sent us some pictures of samples that he liked and while we were looking for fabric we hit on the exact fabric that he'd found that he liked. But even with that we needed, it, we needed to be able to show a puppet through when Peter gets his shadow reattached. So we had to experiment with shining torches through and doing kind of finger puppetry through the fabric and making sure that you could see it. Then there's other points where we need black curtains. So everything, it's the kind of thing that you put on a list as like, we need four black curtains. But actually that's a day and a half's work because these curtains are four metres long and two metres deep and you can't go out and buy them from Debenham. So you have to make them. So yeah, um, that's probably been our biggest single job. I've made a bright green fake cake, which I really enjoy doing. Um, it doesn't need to be eaten or touched by anyone. It gets chucked around a little bit in action, which is fine. Um, so it was made out of foam from a previous crop, actually, which we modified. But it's essentially a piece of foam that we've kind of covered and hardened. Uh, and then I've just, it was just cake with green icing was uh, what's in the props list. So I've just kind of painted it green and checked him with the designer at all points and he was just like, yeah, just go nuts, it'll be the more the merrier. So I kind of just stuck a load of green things on it, sweets, ribbon, uh, made some fake sweets that I've put on it and just glued a load of stuff to it and it's an amazing green and glittery cake and that was quite fun because it was kind of a, a stage a stage process but it was um, labour of love, I really enjoyed that. I've not really been here long enough yet to actually make anything because I've, I've kind of joined the team very last minute due to um, how much is going to be involved in the show on the stage. I've kind of come in in the final week of rehearsals really. So I've only really made, well we've made these scooters which are really cool. Um, we've also, um, I've been making kind of sewing a lot of towels together that they use within the piece. But yeah, it's very much last minute so I've not really been around to do much really. Your phone will start next week. <laughs> My phone will start next week. <laughs> uh, I'm most looking forward to flying because I've done a lot of shows where people have flown and I've had nothing to do with it and on this one hopefully I might get involved in flying people uh, as we've got quite a bit of flying. It's no secret that Peter and Wendy and the boys all fly which is really fun. Um, Spoilers! <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to flying some people. It's kind of a new skill for me and it's just really fun and they should hopefully have a really good time. <laughs> it's quite an experience, I think. So I'm really looking forward to the flying because I think it'll be quite a nice fun element and a new skill to learn. I just can't wait to see the uh, Mermaid Lagoon. Like, from what we've been told on the set and the model box, it's just going to look fantastic in light. I'm not going to spoil it, but it's, it's, it's going to look amazing when it gets up and running. And it's just going to look so pretty. <laughs> I think I'm looking forward to the cast, including the young company, seeing the set for the first time. Because it's really beautiful and really colourful and it's just like a massive playground. And I think when everyone sees it, even when you've seen the small version and you've seen the model and you know what to expect, there's still something lovely about walking in. I always try to see it from the back of the auditorium first. I walk all the way up the steps and then turn around and get a full view of everything. And it's really lovely. The first time you see it is always exciting.